वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाय टैरो एंड इट इज योर वीकली पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग फॉर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज एनर्जी प्रडिक्शंस सो टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ सिलेक्ट योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन वेलकम पायल नंबर वन दिस इज योर वीकली पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट द रीडिंग विद द टेरो देन वी विल फॉलो योर ऑटो कार्ड्स Pile number one, your first card is Queen of Coins. Next, you have the Queen of Swords. Then you have the Ten of Coins. Next, you have the Tower. And the final card is Awakening. That is the Judgment card. So. You've got two major arcanas and rest is also pretty strong cards. This is overall a very strong and independent energy week for you that I can tell you right away. Your first card is the queen of coins that is the energy of you finding the stability and definitely the groundedness also. You are very empowered and you have all that you need to proceed in this week because the very next card to the queen of coins is the queen of swords this is the card that tells me you have all the required knowledge communication and information to definitely reach your goals and desired outcomes at any point of time in this week there is no stopping you you are just beaming with power yet you are very grounded and definitely wise in your actions also the next card is the 10 of coins this is the card that tells me that there will definitely be stability in your life that can definitely be in the matter of wealth that can also be in the matter of commitment everything looks really good the next card is the tower card that says release and revelation revelation sorry pardon me and this is the card that tells me that there will be some changes and you need to let go of whatever was keeping you stuck and you need to move forward with these changes to prosper more because the final card for you is the judgment card this is the card that tells about renewal and enlightenment and definitely in this week's energy you are the one who is definitely following the wisdom and the knowledge of every sort to move forward towards your higher self and this judgment card is also telling me that things are definitely going to be all right even after the changes because judgment is never wrong you are going to get your good karma paid off definitely well and at its best So pile number 1 this was the tarot let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards yes your first card says wait this is the card that is telling me that you need to definitely practice patience that will help you more because rushing into anything won't help you you have all the grounded energy inside you and you have the patience also so when things are changing let things come to you at a very clear and lighted state don't just rush into the fog it is changing definitely it is changing but what it is bringing look into that first then definitely find something to decide The next card is clean it up. This is the card that tells you about moving forward and creating space for new whatever is old and worn out you need to let go of that 
and this is also the indication of your spring cleaning time if there is any kind of need in your workplace or in your personal space to get rid of things that doesn't serves you anymore definitely giving them away is something that is going to let the new energies come into your life the next card is flamingo spirit this says embrace the in between definitely you need to be open to embrace the changes and the in between periods that's why you have the weight card also it is the time being that you need to definitely embrace and understand also that nothing happens overnight though it is a single weeks pick a card but you need to practice the patience also that will help you in the long run the final card is green revitalize your nervous system this is the card that tells you to pray meditate and ground your energies if you feel anxious about the changes and the future definitely praying meditating grounding your energies will help you for sure so pile number one this was your weekly pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week Welcome pile number two. This is your weekly pick a card reading. Let's start the reading with the tarot. Then we will follow the oracle cards. Pile number two. Your first card is two of swords. Next you have the knight of swords. Then you have the eight of swords. Next you have the knight. Sorry, the king of acorn. That is the king of wands optimism and innovation next you have the magician willpower creation so pile number two lots of swords card so this is a week for you to definitely learn communicate and gather information that is the most important things in this week for you next you have the in the first card you have two of swords that is telling me that you are definitely going to be needing to make a decision about something and in the matter of decision making you need to follow your intuition your inner knowing and that will definitely serve you best at this point of time the next card is the knight of swords so you are definitely moving forward and it is right for you to move forward with your knowledge and better communication skills you are definitely gathering more information also things will definitely work out for you if only you let go of this eight of swords energy eight of swords energy always tells about you thinking or creating an illusion of something that is too big for you to handle but it is not the truth you need to open your eyes and get out of that state of mind and face the situation and then you will know that you were fearing almost nothing so you need to definitely understand that in this week if you get out of that state of mind definitely things will work out for you because the very next card is the king of wands optimism and innovations card that tells me that your energy is grounded you are passionate you are very charged up towards your goals and success you are inspiring other peoples you are not only inspiring yourself you are definitely someone who can inspire other people too so that's a very big 
and bold energy and you can get that only if you get out of your own head the next and the final card is the magician that is the card of willpower and creation this is the card that tells me that you are blessed to achieve anything that you put your mind to and you are blessed with all the tool that you require to manifest those dreams or goals of yours so definitely be mindful that this is a week for you to pursue your goals into your reality so these are your tarot let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards yes get more information i was telling you that repeatedly you need to gather more information about things and necessary matters that way you will definitely succeed the next card is go create this is the card that tells me that partnership collaboration is definitely there it is a situation where you are going to need other people's help and inspiration and you are going to inspire and help others also the next card is the turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race so don't rush definitely don't rush just relax learn things and act as required rushing won't help you in this week the next card is gray learn to scan your body this is the card that tells you to pray meditate and definitely balance out your energies don't drain yourself don't just over indulge in the relaxation or any kind of other influences that will keep your energy out of balance so take care of your body take care of your energies and definitely take things a little slow but steadily allow other people to help you and help others also and definitely find more information so pile number 2 this was your next 7 days pick a card reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week Welcome pile number 3 this is your weekly pick a card reading let's start the reading with the tarot then we will follow your oracle cards pile number 3 your first card is king of swords next you have eight of cups then you have the world card next you have the shadow this is the devil card this says self empowerment ambition Next you have the empress beauty and abundance. So pile number 3 three major arcanas out of five cards. Big week for sure. You are starting the week with the king of swords so definitely you are empowered with wisdom and you are moving forward with your excellent communication skills and you have information that is more than enough for you to definitely pursue anything that you want at this point of time you are moving forward from the old and worn out situations because you have the 8 of cups next you are cutting ties with those stuck and toxic situation that was keeping you chained to something and it is time for you to move forward because the very next card to the 8 of cups is the world card this is the card that tells me that definitely a chapter of your life is ending and you are moving forward to a beautiful new chapter probably there will be a divine union also happening as you can see in this card the feminine and the masculine energies are celebrating their love the card is also telling me there will be abundance prosperity happening for you for sure this is a very beautiful card to have and this is what you are moving forward towards the next card is the shadow card this is the devil energy card but in this deck this card is 
about self-empowerment and ambition. But you have to remember at any point of time that you cannot go overboard with your energies towards anything. You have to maintain the right balance all the time. If you are in the energy of self-empowerment, definitely that is something really amazing for you to do. But don't just drain your energies or don't just become someone very egoistic. Don't let your ego speak louder than your heart and mind. And if you are ambitious, definitely following your ambition is good. But obsessing over it is never. And you have to be mindful about that. The next card is the Empress. The beauty and the abundance card. This is the card that tells me there will definitely be many more opportunities coming your way. New ideas, new paths, new definitely new ways of life is there for you and this is the card that also tells me, for some of you at least, there will be a childbirth news or good times to definitely try for a kid is also indicated. And pile number three, this is the energy that I'm getting for you from the tarot. And this is a very blessed week for you that I can tell you from the cards. You have all that you need in this week. You just have to be mindful to utilize it positively. The next, we are going to see your oracle cards. Your first card is the compromise. This is the card of balance. You need not to obsess about anything. Don't over invest. Don't under invest. Stay in the right balanced energy. That is the prime message for you in this week. The next card is time for a nap. Don't forget to take some rest for yourself. If you drain your energies, you will lose focus of the path that you need to follow and you will be anxious and agitated because of changing things you won't be open and flexible to changes and that will definitely hin create hindrance in your path so definitely take some rest the next card is squirrel spirit that says believe in yourself you have it all in you you don't have to worry about a thing you just stay relaxed and be confident in your own skin you have the power inside you to manifest, to pursue, to act. The final card for you is Aqua Experience Peace and Calm. This is the card that tells me you need to ground your energy for sure. And praying, meditating, taking a trip to nature, especially near a water body will definitely help you in this week. So pile number three, this was your weekly pick a card reading for next seven days. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great week. So viewers, this was your weekly pick a card reading for next seven days. If you like my reading, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for your participation. Have a great week.